In this video, we will integrate PWA with AEM and retrieve the AEM content from PWA. So as a first step, we need to add course details in AEM. When there are independent applications interact from various domain or ports, cross origin resource sharing issue arises. To fix this, we need some configuration in AEM publish. So let us go to the AEM. I'm in my AEM local instance of publish. Search for course. There is a section called allowed origins. So here you need to add the PWA application URL. So from this domain, the application will be able to call the AEM local host. Save this. So we have defined the course details now. Once the course is enabled, we need to configure the content fragment endpoint URL with the PWA. Then access the PWA and retrieve the data from AEM. You can see that I have mentioned the publish URL of the content fragment in this section. Now let me access the localhost URL. So I'm clicking on the retrieve content fragment data. Main, this is sample content fragment for my demo. So if you go back to my content fragment, this is the content fragment. I had authored it on a page. And this content fragment was available on my publish instance in this URL. Same URL is getting invoked in my PW application. So if you see the index.html, you can see that I am invoking the retrieve content fragment.js in my index.html. And in retrieve content fragment file, I have a URL called to invoke the content fragment from my publish instance. Now I have the retrieve content fragment data on my PW application. So here is a summary. This is the way a content fragment helps to export the content from AEM to third party applications. This helps to send AEM content to other application other than the normal websites. Hope this video was helpful. Please let me know if there are any comments through the comment section of this video. Thanks for watching.